I'm really hearing Stefan Diggs is a dog, not only on the field, because he's one of the greatest wide receivers that I've seen all the years of me being a football fan since Minnesota to, to this day in the Texans. Yeah, he gets seven yards with two touchdowns. Like, he's still that guy on the field. We've also seen other players in Minnesota, like Dalvin Cook and other stars from the Minnesota team, Adam Thielen. Like, nah, if I could pick one dude on this team not to date my sister, everyone there kept saying Stefan Diggs. Do you least like to date your sister? What the hell? Diggs. Why Diggs? <laughs> Man. No. <laughs> We're going to leave it like that. No. What guy on this team would you least like to date your sister? Oh, Stefan Diggs. Why Diggs? He's, he's just he's crazy. He's just outrageous. Don't know what he's going to say. Just don't know what to expect every day. So he couldn't date my sister. What guy on this team would you least like to date your sister? Least like to date my sister, Diggs. 100%. Why Diggs? Because he's just, he's not a guy that you want to bring home to your parents. Like, you don't want your sister to bring him home to your parents, so therefore she can't date him. What guy on this team would you least like to date your sister? And, and I might add, you're starting to be the runaway favorite for this. Well, nobody want me to date this, is it? I don't know what he's doing, but everybody was like, hell no, I don't want Diggs to come to my family's house and meet my mother. Not happen. I would not allow my sister to do that. Why does Deg Diggs have such a bad rep? Not only does Diggs have a bad rep, we just watched Offset crash out on Instagram. We just watched Offset crash out on Instagram. We've seen football players say we don't want Diggs with our sister. Never mind our wives. Never mind our wives and they're eight months pregnant. Now I can kind of put it together on why they're saying Diggs is a dog, bro. My shorty eight months pregnant is still trying to clamp. The baby is literally there. You're going to poke his eye out you have no respect my guy Diggs. you have no respect if this is true again nothing is concrete evidence it's just rumors going on right now but academics one person that i'm not gonna lie you want ask starts putting his name on it selling you i know for sure it's a thousand percent true i kind of start believing that i ain't even gonna lie to you i'm like eh, is, is there some truth to that is there some merit to that when he starts screaming ah! so i'm telling you guys i didn't hear it for no i'm telling you myself the truth then you gotta pay attention do you guys think there's any more information that we will receive about stefan Diggs? and Cardi B. Let's see what Academic shares with us and then we'll share commentary throughout the video. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, sub up. Any questions you might have, please let me know down below. Always feel free to DM me. At 10,000 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. If you haven't seen some of my unboxings previously, just know we will be doing an unboxing at 10,000 subscribers and we will be giving it away. If you wanna know how to win it, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, because on Instagram I'll be sharing more information on what you have to do the closer we get to that 10,000 subscribers. Sub up. See what I done her. They said, see what I done her. They said, Cardi B was catching Offset doing all And basically, when Cardi B was like eight months pregnant, Offset went through her phone and called her texting some dog named Stefan Diggs. Some, bat, some football player, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. I heard that name in five other bitches. It's kind of crazy. Fuck everybody's hoe in the game, which is kind of ironic because every time your girl want to get their lick back, they go to the biggest hoe. They complain about you being a hoe, and the nigga they try to get with is a bigger hoe. Shit don't make sense. But it's all good. Typical female shit. Now, you know what's so funny? And, and, and this is what I heard. I'm going to tell you everything I heard. I heard Cardi didn't. This is what I heard, honestly. I heard she didn't. But she was texting a nigga, entertaining the nigga. If you ever been in a toxic relationship, I've just cheated on me, and all, and all I seen was a text message. Are you eight months pregnant? Why are you even? Why am I seeing smiley faces? All jokes aside, man, I'm telling you, you like a dude's picture, you cheated on me. You like a dude's picture, you cheated on me. You respond back to a text message or DM that they hit you up and even say thank you. You cheated on me. You sneeze. Says bless you. You say thank you. You cheated on me. It's as equivalent of me sleeping with a woman. That's how I look at it in my eyes. Now, am I telling you guys it's correct? No, obviously I'm not mentally healthy. Obviously it's not correct. What are you gonna? You gonna tell me something I don't know? No, I obviously know that's not mentally healthy. But me, in my personal way, there's no way to change me because I'm already a. You can't teach your old dog new tricks. You cheated on. Me. You entertain a dude in any type of way. It's donezo. You don't know. I'm gonna start speaking to you like Drake doing his best impersonation of patois. I heard. I heard it was a picture sent, but whatever. But that's supposedly what happened. Sad. Like, yo, the nigga <laughs> seen some shit. Ooh. Seen that, you know, she texted him. And plus, you seen, I, I don't even want to contract him, but apparently getting some bread. And you're on my fancy team, so bro, don't get mad because you're on my fancy team. You got to cook, okay? I, yeah. Anyway, anyway, here's the point, nigga. So apparently, she, uh, um, sh she starts texting, um, like, you know, flirting has happened, right? Nigga offset sees the flirt in a toxic mind, or really any nigga mind. So that's why he's saying, and he won't let it go. You, Stefan Diggs. Right? I'd say it too. Like, I'll say it three. I'll say it three. Texting.
Nigga eight months pregnant. At that point, sleep with him. If you gonna text him and do it, at that point, just seal the deal is what I always say. If you gonna get me that tight, just get me 100% tight. Seal the deal, sleep with him. Go ahead. Because I'm gonna treat you the same way either way. I'm gonna treat you the same way as if you did sleep with him. So at that point, just do it. You get what I'm saying? So that's supposedly uh, um, um, what happened. He brings it to the internet, but she, again, they're, which, which, you know, I'm not gonna call either of them stupid, but they're so emotional. They're not realizing that we're all judging them by these, these very distinct things. What? Eight months. We're not even thinking about that. We're just going off of. They're not thinking about that. They're just thinking, oh, I'm trying to hurt his feelings, and he's saying I'm trying to hurt her feelings, right? So he reveals that, trying to make her look like a hoe. She then wants to hurt his feelings, so she get on on Instagram or Twitter, and she says, and did. Which, by the way, she never said she nigga, right? But she had to like say to make him feel like he did. Again, I'm hearing this. This is alleged. I don't know. Maybe she I don't know. But but I'm hearing most shit like was she fuck him? Did she I don't know, but I heard at that point nothing did happen, and basically offset again a nigga texting your girl, and your girl even sending her him a picture. At nah, sending a picture is crazy. I'm telling you, texting backs already enough. You killed me. You broke my heart. Sending a picture? Nah, now nah, you officially cheated. Now nah, you officially cheated. Oh, now nah, you virtually cheated on me. And the fact that offset is during them and tell like, bro, you mad at me at all the things that I'm doing, and you doing the same thing behind my back. And Shorty's gonna be like, nah, bro, you slept with 30 girls. You did the same thing, even if it was one, even if it was just a picture, even if it was just a smiley face in the morning. Good morning. That's enough. That's more worse than anything. Eight months pregnant. It's like damn near your girl. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Back. Like you're gonna be like, man, you a hoe, man. Like, man, I'm called chicks hoes for less. Like, you like that nigga picture? You a hoe. Whore! <laughs> you like that picture? You a hoe. I'm telling you, bro. What's wrong with us internet niggas? I gotta get off the computer. Oh, I'll be on the same time. And show you repost that. Oh. Show you like this tweet. Never mind a picture. You like a tweet. Oh. Throw her to the streets. She's for the streets. I start playing. I just start walking around the house dropping shots like future. It's a cold world we live in. <laughs> it's a cold world. You know what I'm saying? So I heard that it was on, and, and and Cardi trying to piss him off is basically saying, "I." And you know what she's she's doing that for? She's not realizing the public is viewing it as, "Wait, did you just admit a guy eight months pregnant? What's wrong with you?" She's viewing it as, "Well, you cheating, nigga. You cheated on me. Blah 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 blah. Mad times. It's about time you get a taste of your own medicine." That's how she's viewing it, right? Okay, but after everything cooled down. It only take three, four days, bro. Right? Shorty was already cooled down. Cardi came back and said, I was mad. I want my man back. I don't think I can go back after that. It don't matter if I started a family or what. This is why I don't have kids yet, because I'm not that mature yet in life. You guys think that maturity comes with age. No, it comes with a mentality. And I'm not there yet in life. I'm abandoning the kid, the wife, everybody. Nigga, when the kid turns 18, it's like, Dad, why'd you tell us you were going to go buy some backwards and never came back home? Your mother like is picked. I ain't gonna lie to you, son. I was there one day, went through your mother's Instagram and saw she liked the dude's photo. I couldn't live with myself. I couldn't live with the situation. So I ran on. I'm telling you, that's how crazy it is. That's how crazy a dude's mind can work. And I keep looking at the top right, baby oil fun. Let's buy all thousand bottles. This nigga already got enough to buy 416 bottles. That's hilarious, yo. That's hilarious. This Diddy stuff is crazy. But what do you guys think about it? I really think it made both of them look bad. If you guys want to have this argument behind the scenes, I always say do it. But I hate when couples bring their arguments and their bad blood to social media because then they try to make up and we don't forget. We're gonna always remember this, bro. You getting beef with a rapper in the future? Some niggas gonna say that's why they slammed your baby mother around, nigga, when she was eight months pregnant. Like, no, no, she really didn't do it. You told us 32 times it happened. That's it. It's gonna be used against you in the future. So that's why we say, guys, keep your stuff off the internet, please. Cause you guys will make up to break up to break up to make, but the internet will never forget all that dirty laundry you let out. We in a recession, baby. Them hoes got they gotta get paid. Do that. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, watch what I'm gonna do to you. Watch what I'm a, this, that, blah, blah, blah. You already done it all. You already done it all. You already done it all. You done it all. You done it all. You done it all. Nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing surprises me. You done it all. So I don't care. I don't. Thank you for my kids, though. All three of them. I don't regret none of them. But I regret you. I don't regret my kids. You're good, daddy. You all right. I don't regret them. N not none of them. Not none of them. You. I regret you. I'm too good for you. I always been too good for you. You know I'm too good. For you. And I don't. And I don't ever, 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 ever. I never even wanted to get on the social media because I don't want to turn off. The off because this is not my shit. I don't ever want the next nigga to ever think that I'm a mess. But you want to be a messy and do because you hurt. 
All right, we're going to do it then. Keep your home information. You, got, you guys got kids with each other. Please keep all this gossip to each other in the house. Because now you got people like me and academics talking about your household. And if Stefan Diggs is slamming it. What's funny is that I got, I'm on seven fantasy leagues. It sounds crazy to say. I got Stefan Diggs in a smooth like four. Still need Stefan to cook. Stefan Diggs in that Houston locker room with CJ Stroud and everybody turning up to WAP before the game. And they all laughing. Now it's an inside. Why would you give this dude that ammo? Sub up, sub up, sub up. Let me know down below. We will be doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. How do you feel about this? Do you think Cardi B looks bad for being eight months and even entertaining Stefan Diggs? Or is Offset the worst one for do cheating on her so many times to make her do that? Or are they both equally as bad in this situation? I think in this personal situation, not counting what he's done in the past, this personal situation, they're both equally bad. She's equally bad for trying to go back and get him mad. He's equally bad for throwing this all out on the internet because this makes nobody but yourself look crazy. What do you think will come next from this? Do you think they'll be back together and she'll be pregnant yet again? Is this beef going to forever go on? Because we already saw Cardi B cracking. Like, I miss my man. I want my man back. I don't know if Offset wants you back. That I don't know. I'm not going to say he does. I'm not going to say he does not because Cardi B is one for sure to show you receipts and then sue your ass. Like, oh, you said Offset don't want to be with me? Bet. Look at these text messages of him asking back for me. Your honor, that's going to be a million dollars out of this nigga's funds. You're going to have me making 10 videos a day just to pay her off. Sub up, sub up, sub up. Everything we said in this video was not only alleged, I'm pointing the fingers because you know me, I'm, 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 I'm a happy snitch. It happened with this man right here, academic said everything. He's the one that puts this in my head. I didn't even know this was going on in the streets. Sub up. <laughs> Bro, this is recent. I, I did say we were getting off, but I just wanted to show this quickly. Offset is in the Bronx right now with Cardi B and they're in the same club. They're in two different sections with their groups, but you guys don't think they're meeting up after this? Is it just ironic that they're both happily together? Is it just ironic that they both happen to be into the same club in New York City? Maybe they don't want to be together because everything is happening publicly, but the fact they're, they're both in the same exact club. If this isn't a toxic masterpiece, a beautiful toxic relationship, I don't know what is. Sub up, sub up. This is just a beautiful, toxic relationship. As much as I hate to say the word beautiful with toxic in the same situation. But if you're from an urban city, if you even know somebody that's been in a relationship like this, I'm just too petty that if you sent a picture, I can never sleep. I can never even get that out of my mind. Cardi ain't even my girl and I can't get that out of my mind.